My name is Bernard Heavey. I'm from just outside Tullamore in County Offaly. Um, milking 130 cows here. Uh, I've been milking all my life really. Started off in a two unit bucket plant and went into a six unit parlor and a ten unit parlor. And now we're back to two units again in our robots. Um, we installed them at the, the end of last year. We started building work in um, May of 20. Uh, we built a new cubicle shed for, to house 120, 130 cows. We installed in the end of October. We decided to go with the Letty robot because um, they were the most popular robot. Uh, there's a few of them around here already. And uh, I was talking to people that had them and were happy. They were very happy with them. So the main reason we went uh, decided to go robot was um, the labour really. And then for the next generation coming on, just to leave, leave it a bit easier. Be a nice workload, big workload here between everything. So just just to bring back the work, bring back the work a bit, and it did. Like it's uh, it's working a dream there. We found, in fairness, we found the spring busy enough because we actually were training cows nearly every day. That went on for bones three months. We probably would have been like to be going in October and have our cows trained before um, before the calved, but um, just, that just didn't happen. We had some going on it. Um, but once we had the cows trained and everything settled, it's just working like clockwork there now, it's just, they're, they're flying at it. Well what I notice is, you have a little bit of work doing in the mornings, and it's not a lot. It's, you do the mornings in under an hour between moving wires, if you move two wires in the morning, clean down around the parlour and check the cows. It wouldn't take an hour, we'd say we'd put it down as an hour, there's very little to be done in the evening. There's one wire to move in the evening, that's it, change the filter socks. 20 minutes, any time in the evening. You're not under pressure. You're not under pressure to get back here for four o'clock to milk cows. Um, any time up to 11 o'clock I can do that. The gate changes at 11 o'clock. I can move a strip move a strip wire which takes 15 minutes and change the filter stock. That's it. Uh, Tom McWalter here at Cunnerhur Milltown. We converted over to dairy in, in 20, 2020. Uh, we put in one robot uh, spring 2020. Uh, we used to have suckling cows here and sheep and we changed over. Uh, and 2021 then we put in a second robot. Uh, at the moment we're making 134 cows. Um, it's a grass-based system. We are all spring calving at the moment. Well, one of the, one of the reasons we changed over was um, my family uh, have an interest in dairy. They had no big interest in the sheep nor the, nor the suckling cows. There was a lot of work. We were all the time, we were all the same with the lamb in our calving the, all the year round. There was a, a big workload on it. Um, they had more interest in dairy, and it's more organised. Well, all the information is there to access it. If you, if you access it, it's all there. Um, cell count, litres, any cow that's not producing solids, you know straight away. So you have a, a printout there of every single cow for the whole year. You know exactly what she's producing. The reason we went to Lily was there is good lot of them in our area, and I was talking to lads that have them, and everyone the support. Everyone was. I, I really want this one that you get a good backup for breakdowns and they seem to be the only one in our area that, that was had a good support. We got, we got on very well. We didn't need a lot of support but when we needed support we just rang them there was someone always on the end of the line. My name is Noel Terrell. I'm farming, I'm from County Wicklow and we're farming up here in the Wicklow Hills. Three years ago we installed an a, a Lily A5 robot. We are, at the moment we are milking 67 cows. Before we got into milk we were sucklers and beef farmers and then we made the change. But I always wanted to milk cows because I was born and reared on a dairy farm. But I never wanted to be stuck in a parlour seven days a week, morning and evening. As a matter of fact I had two operations on my back and a parlour wouldn't have been that great for me. But one time we were up in the plough match in Strad Valley and my future wife-to-be Mary was with me and we showed her, we were looking at the robot stand and she says, so there's the way to go and all y'all was talking about getting back into cows. So we talked about it for a couple of years and then we just said, right, we'll go for it. Going to discussion groups, I, I thought the discussion groups are very educational. There's not one discussion group that we went to, but we, that 
that Mary and I went to that we didn't bring home something from. And apart from learning things, it's a social event and you get to meet, you meet lovely people when you're out there and they're so helpful. I've never, we've, I'd say we went to about 30 different farms in the last three to four years. And every one of them farmers was more than helpful. They told us how much it cost them to set up. They told us things to do and things not to do. The best advice I'd give anyone is go and talk to other lily ones because we learn by their mistakes. And we're also learning by our own mistakes. And you will make mistakes no matter what business things you go into. But the backup service that we have from Lily Mullingar is second to none. Hi, uh, my name is John Gilsonen. We're farming here in Kells and County Meath. I'm farming with my father, Sean. Uh, we installed a robotic milking system in 2018. Uh, we're milking 220 cows in a split calving arrangement. We are calving down 50 cows in the autumn and the remainder in spring. We started here in 2018. We began on a greenfield site. We were traditionally a beef tillage and dairy farm. Um, we operated our milking operations in a herringbone system. Um, we were originally milking in a six unit parlor in 2015. We upgraded in 2016 to a 14 unit herringbone system. Um, and after a few years we realised we couldn't expand properly in that area and uh, we began looking at alternative milking systems like larger herringbone systems and also we in investigated rotary systems. Um, so our intent was to move to the new farm and either build a rotary or a larger herringbone facility. So after a while we just stumbled really across uh, robotic systems and uh, we began looking at them seriously and were very very impressed. We just were hell-bent on putting in a robotic system so we did that and uh, it was a very very good decision. Hi uh, my name is Charles Higgins we're here in uh, very near Cathedral here in Tipperary. We were existing dairy farmers uh, milking through a 12 units Herringbone milk compiler uh, we formed a partnership with my father and mother back there in August and I came back to the family farm. We installed two lily robots there um, at the back end of last year um, on the 8th of December we put our first cow through. Um, we're milking 101 cows now at the minute and hope to push up to maybe 120, 130 in the next four to five years. Although my background is that I'm a seven year construction manager so uh, I have a very young family, I have two kids under two at the moment and uh, it would have been a massive commitment to myself to come back to full-time farm and to be milking twice a day, seven days a week. Um, so I first mentioned to my father probably last May, would, we, would you be interested in foreign partnership and looking at maybe robotic milking? And uh, that kind of jumped at the opportunity of maybe me coming back to the farm. And uh, we went looking at three or four farms in Tipperary and we're kind of overwhelmed by the, the response that we got from the different farmers. God, we found the robots fantastic, really. Um, it's a really lifestyle kind of change. I still get up at half six every morning, but I feed my, feed my two kids, give them their breakfast, come down here at quarter to eight, and uh, we finish up then at five o'clock in the morning, at five o'clock in the evening. Um, this springtime, this is our first spring with, uh, with the robots. So it really took the pressure off it, even though we had a lot of cows calving at night, but everything seemed to be more relaxed. You had more time to give to the cows and also more time to give to the calves. Um, so it really, it was, the robots really worked out well for us this year. I suppose before now, in the parlor, you would, have been, you would have been looking at the cows every day, but with the robots, you have all the information on the computer, you have all your rumination. When the cow is getting sick, um, every day you'd sit down on the robots, whether it was eight or half eight, and you kind of go through their different reports. I thought the one we look at the whole time is a somatic cell count, or if a cow was taking a dip in the rumination, you kind of key into them different bits and pieces, and look at a cow, and even segregate that cow when she comes in later on that afternoon, you look at her and see what's wrong with this cow, or even 
what we felt fantastic was the mastitis detection. You're kind of getting it probably two or three days in advance of what a, a normal person would see it. So you're kind of using more other mint uh, first rather than an, an antibiotics. I suppose the big, biggest kind of fear would be kind of you're kind of hearing from farmers of their stories, but the biggest thing I found was you're hearing from farmers that don't have robots. Like we heard, ma'am heard one day, they maybe last October, November time, you're going to have to cull maybe 20% of your cows. Today, we haven't culled any of our cows. So it's all them kind of myths that they're coming from farmers, but they're not coming from robotic farmers, which is a bit funny like. I thought when we did start up, we had Lily here for the first three days. Um, which was fantastic for the first, they were here day, well, morning and even for the first three days and then Jordan then came back then the week after. You do need, a, you do need support because at the end of the day you're, it's a whole new system of milking cows and it takes you four or five days just to get the, the run of the, the robots, the computer and even the backup servers. If you did have a question of how to root a cow or whatever it might be, somebody's always on the end of the phone or somebody cannot log into the computer and show you exactly, oh, this is the button I need to press or you need to select these four cows and this is how you do it. Um, so you do need support.